Hey there, Lacey here with The Sweet Pea Chef, and I've got the perfect Valentine's Day dinner to share with you today. I've partnered with Lano Estacado Winery to bring you a delicious braised short rib recipe over creamy polenta that I think you're gonna love. So let's get started. First, we need to sprinkle sea salt and ground black pepper all over the short ribs, and then dredge them until coated with the chickpea flour. Then set aside. In a large Dutch oven, heat a couple tablespoons of olive oil over medium-high heat. We're gonna brown the short ribs on all sides. It should take about a minute per side. Once nicely browned, remove and then set aside. If you need to do this in two batches, that's fine. Just try not to overcrowd the short ribs. Now into the Dutch oven, we're gonna add diced yellow onion, diced carrots, and diced shallots. And we're gonna cook for a few minutes until they begin to soften. Pour in the Lano Estacado Signature Red Wine into the pot and stir to combine. Be sure to scrape the bottom of the pan to release any bits that have stuck to it. Bring this to a boil and cook a couple more minutes. Now add in the low sodium beef broth and stir together. Then we're gonna add in the short ribs to the pot. They should be almost completely submerged by the liquid. Finally, toss some fresh thyme and rosemary sprigs over the top and then cover and place into the oven. We're gonna braise the short ribs at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours, and then we're gonna reduce the heat to 325 degrees and cook for another 30 to 45 minutes. You'll know the ribs are done when the meat is falling off the bone and is tender when poked with a fork. Now remove the pot from the oven and allow it to sit for another 20 minutes on the stove while we prepare the creamy polenta. To do this, we're gonna heat unsweetened almond milk or any milk of your choice water and sea salt in a deep saucepan over medium-high heat. We're gonna bring this mixture to a boil, stirring frequently to keep the milk from burning on the bottom of the pan. Once boiling, slowly add in the coarse cornmeal, stirring or whisking constantly to avoid any clumps. Now that the cornmeal is all mixed in, lower the heat, cover and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, stirring every two to three minutes or so to keep everything creamy and not clumping together. Once the polenta is smooth, thick, and creamy, remove from the heat and add in the pepper, garlic powder, and goat cheese, stirring to incorporate until it's smooth. To serve, add the creamy polenta to the bottom of a bowl and then top with a couple of those braised short ribs, spooning a little bit of juice from the pot over the top and adding some fresh thyme leaves. These braised short ribs are rich, delicate, and perfectly paired with the creamy polenta. Thanks so much to Lano Estacado for sponsoring this recipe. Make sure to pick up their signature red wine to make these braised short ribs for Valentine's Day. And have you subscribed yet? If not, you totally should to never miss new healthy ways to enjoy tasty foods. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time.